it's New Year's Eve. Hey, it's New Year's Eve. What they need to do, babe. They need to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give the thumbs up for all the videos, give comments, and yeah, join the family. All right, y'all like it. Who was Bay? I'm Derek. <laughs> Ain't my husband handsome? <laughs> so, for my loyal family members, thank you because this is probably your second year rocking with us for New Year's Eve, and I appreciate the love and support. And so last year we did a vision board. Ooh, let's get it up. So this this look familiar to some of y'all, okay? Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is go over what we accomplished from this vision board in 2020, and then give you our goals for 2021. Yeah, All right, let's do it. So we're gonna start over here in this quadrant. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in. Let me bring it in for the people real quick. Let them yeah. see it better. Let them see, see. All okay. Right. I'll kick it off with the. So first we have we wanted to get on TV, and that's, we accomplished that goal. We were on NBC Five, DFW. They featured us for the Father Figures children's books that we published, and yeah, that was a cool experience. So we can check that off on our list. Check. <laughs> and then also for our books. We published the Father Figures Children's Books uh, 2020, 20, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> My wife published a girl's version. I published a boy's version. And both did reach a bestseller on Amazon. Showed it. So yeah, congrats check. on that. <laughs> and we applied for some other book awards that we are hoping we'll hear back from in early 2021. So keep your fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. I, mean, I could be like, you know, like a real award winning <laughs> author. That or my husband, that I would mean. be awesome. So yeah, that was two. So TV, books, I think you're up next, love. Yeah, and so it's in this quadrant. I mean, mm -hmm. we wanted to focus on building our family businesses, you know, building our empire. So, I mean, this whole quadrant, check, you know, success. Yeah. We did it. Progress, indeed. So we're going to move over here. Mm-hmm. Slide that up in there. Okay. See. All right. So this is pretty much all about family. Now, COVID came in here and exposed a lot of fake relationships. <laughs> or unstable <for> relationships. <laughs> Luckily, that was not the case for us. I mean, this is real love, true stronger. love. And we grew stronger. So, I mean, family values, family traditions, living our best life. We enjoyed all the time that we've been spending together. I mean, it definitely brought us closer. Um, you know, we had a lot of great moments together as a family. Um, so I would say overall, this is check. You know, in the future, we hope. I mean, right now, you know, I am pregnant with child. So if you, you know, is a loyal, you saw that pregnancy announcement video. But once our kids get older, we want to bring them into this family tradition of making a goals list vision board every year. Um, on New Year's Eve. Now with them kids, when they get a little older, it's probably going to be early today, so mommy and daddy can go out <laughs> and turn up a little bit. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but while I'm pregnant, we, we in the house. All Apple right. cider. <laughs> you up, babe. We, go, we going over here. Alright, next up in that far corner, let's see. Uh, okay, family vacations. We love vacations. We really love the beach. And even with COVID, we were able to go to Florida twice, to Panama City, and also to Clearwater. 
of Florida. And we also, for Legacy's first birthday, went to Galveston uh, Beach, which is in, in Texas. So three beaches in 2020, that truly was a blessing. We had to stick to our traditions and hey, do it safely, but still get to that beach. We, we draw onto the water. What else did we have on this side? Yeah, that was all about family okay. vacation and travel. I mean, COVID limited, I mean, travel a little bit. I mean, we still get out there, but I mean, obviously we couldn't do what we really wanted to do just because, you know, you, you can be in them streets like that. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go over to this bottle corner. Right. This corner, I can't get no check off. This is all about doing more for the community, having more friends over for dinners, uh, being mentors and things like that. So maybe can we can give like half a check because my husband did release another book this well in 2020 called The Shortest Distance, which basically help people set their goals. And I'm gonna plug him right now because he ain't promoting this stuff like he should be. I thought we'll pump him up. You gotta go on Amazon and get that book. It'll help you set your goals for 2021. Yeah. So I mean, so in a sense, I mean, he, he did mentor people who read his book. And we also mentored kids through our children's book series. Right, right. So I mean, so and it's time to check. donated to a lot of different nonprofits. Yeah, so you know what, so. We did check. Yeah, just wasn't able to go out in the community yeah. physically as much yeah so that's we, understandable <laughs> COVID. so we're gonna give ourselves a check there we're gonna give yeah. it a check there um oh wow okay so i missed the, the middle section that you know that, that that that, that credit freedom and that that million dollars okay yeah so we did get a check on credit freedom for me I have a credit card that free. I don't owe no 5T nothing, okay? <laughs> American Express, Visa, MasterCard. Y'all can't call me about nothing because I don't owe y'all nothing, okay? <laughs> um, that Millie, though, wah, wah. Getting there. Not but quite, not we, quite. We, we increased our net worth in 2020, but not to the Millie yet. Uh, but also, I have a couple credit cards remaining. But we're well on track to pay those off in 2021. Uh, we should be able to fully check this box and be credit card debt free in 2021. If 2020 taught us anything with COVID, financial security is so important. You never know what's around the corner, what's going to be unexpected, and your income could just disappear overnight. So we really want to make sure that we don't owe anybody anything and that we're financially secure and prepared for any adversity. All right. And so I'm going to go over here to my beautiful little baby girl legacy yeah, I had with her. <laughs> you know, she a cover girl. So she actually did have a um, feature, well, not a feature, but an ad in Dallas Magazine. In the April issue, if you look in there, she was an advertisement for our fertility clinic because she was conceived via IVF. So, I mean, we get a check on that. Yep. Uh, I reached out to a couple agencies, but none of them were really booking babies. Uh, they were looking for kids that were like five or so. But I'm going to keep on, you know, pushing, you know, keep on searching, and hopefully I can find somebody that can represent my cute little baby, okay? Because she born to be a star. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You now health. All right, so health. I'm in mean, 2020, actually the end of 2019, I started, I, I gave up certain things in my diet as far as I stopped eating pork, I stopped eating red meat, I stopped eating fried food, and up up until last week, I, I kept all of that except fried food. I started back, I had a craving for fried chicken, <laughs> so I did give in, I've eaten some fried chicken over the last couple of weeks, but other than that, I still don't eat pork, still don't eat beef, so uh, I've been eating healthier than previous before, so. And so that's still only gonna be a half a check because mm -hmm. mm, I be eating good. <laughs> I eat what the heck I wanna eat. I be, I just be like life too short to not have that cake and ice cream for breakfast. Nah, I eat a lot of sweet stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a half a check. I always, always room for improvement with health. Personally. Um, and down here is you know more so focusing on like our mind. You know, we had a lot of time to think and reflect this year. So I oh, mean. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Mental mm -hmm. health, um, you know, healthy. I mean, I didn't have no breakdowns. Did you have some secret breakdowns I know about? No, 2020 has been my least active, active, stressful year. Like, 
previously, especially in 2019, I just had a, my plate was full. I was saying yes to everything and involved in everything. And I enjoyed it, but being able to just sit down and relax, enjoy your family and not have all these demands on your time really put things into perspective for me and made me appreciate and value just how important it is to take time for yourself and your family. And then down here, keep loving. I mean, we've been in the house for almost <laughs> a year, locked up together, child. Loving. It's been a, nothing but love. Mm -hmm. Nothing but love. So, thank you for being our accountability partners. Yeah. I mean, y'all yeah. even know that's what y'all were doing <laughs> when we did this last year. I mean, <laughs> listen, so I want you to go ahead and let me know how you fared on your goals for 2020. Like, what did you accomplish, all right? But now we're going to get into our goals for 2021. Before we do that, I want to just reiterate just how important it is for doing like something like a vision board. Because we would look at this periodically throughout the year and just see where we're at. And by, able, by putting it down on paper, on the board, you can track it and help you keep it accountable. Especially when you share it with people. So. I said, thanks for being our accountability partner. And now on to our 2021 goals. Yes, yes, yes. For 2021, baby, we're going to be where the money reside. Where the money <laughs> reside. All right, look, I even got me some incense. And they they money drawing incense. That's the trick. All right, so that's like, a secret. <laughs> like, what they smell like? I hope they smell like money. So I'm about <laughs> to go ahead and light one of these up and set the mood of 2021, okay? Right, I want right. 2021 to come in and smell like money, okay? Money, money, but money. That smell like money. Mm, <laughs> I don't know money like that. <laughs> <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna go ahead a little bit. I got all my greens. <laughs> I wanna bring in I wanna bring in 2021. We're in the color money. My husband got on some green pants, which y'all can't see. But yes, honey, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this burn. Burn. All right. <laughs> While we get into these 2021 goals, first up, like I said, I'm expecting woo -woo, little legend Phillips is due July 2021. So the number one goal for 2021 is deliver a healthy baby boy. Yes, indeed. I mean, there's so much stuff going on, going on in the world. I mean, first off, COVID, that's a threat. Uh, then. I'm gonna be 39 when I give birth. So I have a geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high risk automatically. Um, and you know, just regular everyday stuff, car accidents, whatever. So I'm just asking for God's mercy, you know, in covering so that I can be the vessel that delivers this extraordinary individual that I'm carrying in my legend. Womb, this legend <laughs> to the world, to y'all. That's number one. What's number two on the list, babe? Number two, I believe it's back to credit cards. We halfway there and got a couple more to pay off. And we say we're credit card debt free. That's just something that's really important to us as a family and bringing kids into the world. We definitely have to make sure we're financially secure for their future credit cards. And so y'all probably like, why y'all need no vision board for 2021? So my husband just got back in town literally like an hour ago because there was unfortunately a death in his family and Legacy was sick and it's been raining all day in Dallas. <laughs> so I did not want to take Legacy out in the freezing rain to go get some magazines. It wasn't that serious. I was like, my people, they gonna understand. We just gonna, we gonna tell them what this like, list yeah, is. This, this verbal commitment. Yeah, so, so, so and, right, we can, is, we can still, is, uh, you know, in 2022, 20, <laughs> we'll run this back to see what it was that we accomplished. But like I said, first, healthy baby. Second, pay off some credit card. Third, is increase our income from our side hustles, okay? We have several ways that we be making money over here. <laughs> Multiple incomes. Yeah, that's how, that's how, now listen, look, it's not like mine. It's, look, money look, money. look, look, you know what, actually, I'm about to move it, but you know, I'm, a, I'm an inhaler. Let me, yeah, right, let me, right. let me breathe in the money. <laughs> Since we talking Mar about marinate. but um so babe tell them tell them about how we're trying to you know what goals we got so for these talking transition so total under under mentor select we have four books total so those are books we sell on amazon and also we're going to be uh, hold on, hold on, got, so four books four books we have father figures larry's journey to manhood that's the boys version the girls version is uh, father figures tina's first dance the third book is Poverty Powerball, and the fourth book is The Shortest Distance. So all those are available. Ow, don't burn yourself. Ouch. 
That money burns. Don't <laughs> burn yourself. But yeah, all four of those books are available on Amazon, and then also Dallas. We're going to be doing more like uh, fairs and like vendors that it's like pop up shops stuff like mm -hmm. that, and selling books in person as well. So that's that's um, one avenue with the books. Another one is I uh, created an online course called The Magic of Resilience, and it's really geared towards teens who are struggling with anxiety to help them uh, build self confidence and resilience. And I'm going to be launching that course in January. That's, an, that's another stream. And then obviously YouTube, boo, YouTube, because I'm monetized. Y'all be, be seeing these ads, checks. they be running if you ain't got premium. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody who supports this channel because this time last year, I was at 30,000 total views. That's a lot. It's a lot, and I'm thankful for all of them. I'm over 300,000 views. Ooh. So I don't know if you wow. read that book called the 10 X rule by awesome Grant Cardone. Awesome. I mean, like literally that's what happened. I went from 30,000 to 300,000. So for 2021, we gonna, we gonna still times that by 10 and it. I'm going for the three milli. You can do it. So that, that's a, you know, that's, that's the goal for that. All right. Um, so once we get all of that popping off, goal number four, is we have four? Hold on. We have four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have four. We have four. Right right. <laughs> it's for me to become a stay at home mom so that I can spend time with both my babies. They ain't got to go to daycare. They can have their mom at home with them, teaching them, loving them. We ain't got to worry about what strangers possibly doing to my babies because they're with their mama. They, so, those, those, we got four goals, four That's main good. goals. We keep it simple. Yeah. I mean, it ain't gotta be all comfy. I am not over here. I'm pregnant, so I ain't got on here to lose 10 pounds. I don't care about no weight right now. <laughs> like, who, I, I love my husband, but I'm like, who, who I need to be skinny for? He, he <laughs> loves me how I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I, I, I ain't gonna put on here to eat healthier, because I'm about to eat what I want. <laughs> this baby likes steak and burgers. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant cravings, ain't that resistance. <laughs> Oh, but I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I want to send you um, well wishes for your 2021. May it be prosperous. May you stay healthy. Yeah. May it be everything that you dreamed of and more. As always, remember your miracles on the way, and I'm going to see y'all back here again next week. We out. <laughs>